Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Zemo, the dad in DPS, and as you may have guessed, we're back with another video. Now, today's video is more a video highlighting the pepper shaker and the build I'm using around it um, and how to use this weapon. I have been really enjoying it, and as I've been playing around with it and figuring it out, I feel like I've managed to get a build type that is just disgusting. And the particular pepper shaker that I'm using today I'll be showcasing in a later video. It's absolutely disgusting. But before we get into it, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. So, guys, don't forget we've got our social media links, which are down below in the video description for Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. I would really appreciate if you joined the Discord server, the bigger community we can have. Leave me a comment, say hi, all that kind of thing. And yeah, we'll catch you with that. So, in terms of finding this gun, there is only one place to get the plan for it. And that is going to be Meat Week's Grams Cookout. Now, unfortunately, if you're watching this after the fact, you can't get the plan anymore without someone selling it to you or dropping it. However, that doesn't mean you can't craft legendary pepper shakers. Have a friend. Find a friend. Make a friend. Get anybody that can make regular pepper shakers, get them to make you some. Drop them. Once you've got one, you can just re-roll it until you get what you need. So you don't need the plan for this gun in order to make this gun. You just need to find someone that can give you one or a few copies of the standard version. So yeah, isn't all doom and gloom if you've missed Meat Week. On top of that, the mod plans are all sold at Vault 79 from Regs. So if you do need the mods, head on over with some gold bullion and buy them there. Now, in terms of the weapon itself, I have opted to go for certain mods. Now, the ones I'm going for are your hex barrel, your laser magazine, and your gunner sight. The reason I'm doing that is because the gunner sight just improves your aim a little bit. The hex barrel increases the fire rate, um, reduces the damage slightly, but it does increase the fire rate. Um, and the laser magazine there is going to change the damage to laser and ballistic. So it's going to have a bit more damage in that sense. You can use the plasma magazine. I honestly don't notice a huge difference between the two. Um, I kind of swap between them every now and then, but realistically you want the hex barrel. It's the best one for fire rate and and whatnot on there um, and overall it is a very very decent gun because of its good fire rate along with decent damage at the right ranges um, so yeah that's pretty much how that one works all right so the build now in general it's pretty much a heavy build with some little caveats and uh, we've got all the usual weight reduction perks like bandolier batteries included bare arms all that kind of thing now i'll go through the main perks the ones that make this an important kind of factor first off is blocker this is a mid to close range weapon this will save your life more often than not use it now the advantage with the pepper shaker is that it can use heavy and shotgun related perks. In this case, I am using lock and load because I've got bare arms. I still have a lot of heavy weapons in my inventory, so I can't afford not to use bare arms on this build. Um, and then we've got heavy gunner rank one for that extra 10% damage. Now, one of the things that I would say is lock and load or the shotgun equivalent, which I forget the name of, possibly one of the most important perks for this gun. It goes through its clip like it's going out of fashion. This will help you get that uh, clip reloaded, help you keep firing, help keep you alive in that basis. Definitely put on the reload perk. You can always take that off and put on Expert Heavy Gunner or a, another shotgun perk. Realistically, it all found, falls down to what you prefer. In my case, I think it benefits from the reload speed. I honestly think that is the best way to go when it comes to it um, because it just goes through the clips so easily. Now, next up on the perception tree, we've got Skeet Shooter. This gun has a weird spread. Um, 
before this perk is put on. This will help narrow it and help you get more accurate. Um, so definitely put this on with the pepper shaker. Then you've got glow sight just so that any glowing enemies get completely minced by me. Now in the endurance tree we have fireproof and that is going to um, stop me taking explosive damage and the fire damage. Revenant, just in case somebody reses me, people will res me for definite. Um, so that's going to boost my damage even more for two minutes after it and radical just so i've got that extra five strength more carry weight all that kind of good stuff charisma is pretty typical tenderizer for that extra 10 percent damage strange in numbers so my mutations are um better and inspirational so that i am getting that 15 percent more xp now in this section we have uh batteries included Stabilized and Nerd Rage. Stabilized is going to help reduce the spread just like Skeet Shooter does. Nerd Rage is going to do all that good stuff, extra damage, um, damage resistance and AP regen, and then again batteries included for weight. Now in here I am using both Enforcer and One Gun Army. The reason for that is because I want to stagger everything. I want to cripple everything. I honestly don't know if they stack properly, but I'm using both of them anyway because I've got the perk slots for it and I don't really have anything else that I want to put in there. Obviously, I'm not using full rank of uh, Enforcer because of what I want to use as well in this tree. Now, the next thing's Action Boy. The Action Boy's here in relation to Dodgy. Dodgy and Action Boy are going to work really well together to stop me taking any damage whatsoever, which is going to increase my survivability, all that kind of crap. Then we've got Adrenaline for that big 60% damage once I've killed a bunch of enemies, and through Hiker, once again, wait. Um, one Gun Army, we've already went over, so I'll ignore that. Um, Bloody Mess for that extra 15% damage, Class Freak starts genes for my mutations, and then Ricochet so that anything hitting me is going to get deflected back. Overall, I'm using this in the way I'm using it because it is just a fantastic fantastic weapon um, I, I want to be able to survive I don't want to die um, and I just want to be able to fire for as long as possible its fire rate is amazing its damage is decent at the mid to close range if you try and shoot something far away you're gonna start getting ones but I mean, you're still getting ones, but you're getting like 30 ones in the one go. So it is still kind of usable in that sense to tag things. It's just going to do a lot of damage. Um, and I don't think I need to stack damage perks to really get what I need out of it. So, the gun itself and how well does it perform against enemies? Well, I'm going to say this. They don't stand a freaking chance. Literally minces everything. I cannot stress enough how much I love this gun. And as you can see, it goes through that quip, that quip, that clip all too easily. And I am just in love with it. Absolutely in love with it. I think it's one of my, if not the favorite weapon for me now. Um, and we can see against the Mirelark Queen. Yeah, she's instantly crippled. Um, these stupid Mirelarks are not even getting a chance to do any real damage to me. And we are just turning the Queen into Patty. Now, obviously, it doesn't have the most amazing one shot damage of you know, legacies. It doesn't have the damage of a fixer um, at full pelt. Does it need it? Does it? Hell, you turn everything in front of you into freshly cooked meat. It just chunks everything into the ground. And as you've seen from all my weapon testing videos, the Mirelark Queen is one of the toughest enemies in the game. And she doesn't stand a damn chance against this thing when your build's set up so that she's crippled instantly. The damage on her is actually quite good, and I'm not really stacking damage perks. This fixer that I'm using, it fixer, this um, pepper shaker I'm using is not the same pepper shaker that I displayed. It's not bloodied. This isn't a full damage fixer. This is a much better one that I'll be showcasing in a video in the near future. But you've sort of been spoiled of what it's going to do to her. Either way, this gun is one 
of the best guns in the game now, and I absolutely love every second of it. Now, a couple of you will be wondering, what about Formula P? Well, Formula P is going to tighten the spread of this gun even further. But I'll be honest, this is me without it. Like, this, this build that I've been using, this spread is without Formula P. You don't need it. Once you've got the right perks stacked, once you've got the build set, you do not need Formula P. This thing is insane. So that was today's video guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If there's any things you'd like to say about the build, definitely leave that down in the comments if there's anything you think that would help improve it. Anyway, let's thank our YouTube members, which are Twice Baked Spuds, Goldie, Wyatt, Blackburn, Wallers, Me, Mr. Red, Dealfin Gaming, Fat the Druid, Colin G, Garrett McKnight, O-Face, Brian RMC, Peggy McKnight, Metal Doom, Matasbo, Dragon God Slayer X, Devil Man Games and Marcus Carrasco. Thank you very much guys, I cannot appreciate your support enough, and if you'd like to become a YouTube member and support the channel, click that join link down below, it really helps me out, it helps me create new videos and motivate me and just overall do my thing. Now, with that, this is definitely one of my best builds in my opinion, well favourite builds, um, I really enjoyed this gun and I'm definitely going to do a couple more build videos in the near future. Um, I just, I, yeah, I absolutely love this gun. I didn't expect it to be as good, and I cannot express enough that you guys should get it um, and should use it. But with that, we'll catch you all next time in the Wasteland.